Uh, hey guys, my second video today made one of the other channel, you know, check it out, or you kick out, whatever. Alright, so, all right, today I'm going to be talking about Kathleen Kennedy. Um, so, alright, so Kathleen Kennedy, right, very controversial in uh, the world of Star Wars, you know. Right, okay, I just want to say something first. I think it's kind of interesting, I always see this in YouTube head, like, thumbnails and titles and stuff. Whenever someone says something bad about Star Wars, they usually say Disney. Whenever they say something good about Star Wars, it's usually like Lucasfilm. I don't know. It's kind of um, uh, interesting, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So, okay. Anyways, uh, continuing on, right? So, Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, who is she, right? She it, was a friend of George Lucas's. Before, like, she worked alongside him for a while. Um, he trusted her to, you know, be the CEO of Lucasfilm. And, uh, she was, like, chosen by, like, Bob Iger or whatever, I think. He's the owner of Disney now, I think. Um. Okay, yeah, I just fact was checked myself. Um, yeah, he is. Uh, he's CEO, uh, or chairman of, uh, Disney right now. Stupid crazy money he makes. Um, so yeah, in there, anyways, I'm a Captain Kennedy, right? Really controversial. I think... The biggest um, controversy about her really is that, um, I'm sorry, I get a drink of water first, um, about, like, how she puts wokeness into Star Wars and, you know, the sequels, um, I'm gonna make different videos about the sequels, but I'm gonna talk about what I think about her relationship to sequels, and I'm gonna go through everything Star Wars Disney has made, uh, since, you know, she started, right, and, you know, um, okay, and I'll do a little brief explanation on that, everything. Um, okay. So first, let's start off, right? Uh, Star Wars Rebels, right? Oh, wait, no, no, there was one thing before that. Two things before that. On Disney XD, right? Um, the first two Disney Star Wars things I think they made was, uh, Star Wars Lego remakes of the movie. Um, and, uh, Phineas and Ferb remake of the OGs. Yeah, you know, those were actually pretty enjoyable when I was younger. Um, okay, so yeah, anyway. Star Wars Rebels, right? Pretty, uh, solid show. Uh, really had a lot of filler. Um, but overall, good show. Brought a lot of Clone Wars characters back. You know, some OG characters, you know, prequel characters. Really enjoyable, you know. Um, it was by Dave Filoni, uh, you know. I, 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 I like him a lot. I, there's some problems I have with his, the way he makes shows. I'm not, I mean, maybe I'll talk about him eventually, but I, I really would probably get a lot of people mad at me because, like, like, the whole fucking Star Wars fandom's like Dave Filoni stands, and it's kind of crazy. Alright, and then on uh, next, The Force Awakens, right? She chose J.J. Uh, Abrams to direct this. Um,. I thought it was a really solid movie. People say it was like false ar uh, advertising with Finn and stuff. It was too much like New Hope. Uh, I mean, you could say that about like the Phantom Menace, I guess, with you know too much like the New Hope kind of. Uh, I mean, I feel like it was, it was pretty good. Uh, if I remade the sequels, I'd pretty much keep the Force Awakens the same, except for maybe like a few scenes. There was a few scenes in that movie were really stupid. But I think it was overall a good uh, movie. She made a good choice choosing JJ, in my opinion. I think he did a good job. Uh, I, I don't think, you know. And the marketing and stuff was, like, really good. And, like, the trailer and stuff and, like, the hype of it was really good. Uh, everyone was, like, really excited for it. Like, biggest movie in a really long time. Um, now on the Rogue One, I think. Yeah, Rogue One was next, 2016, I think it came out. So, uh, Rogue One, right? I think it was... I mean... It was pretty good. Uh, I, I didn't like it when it first came out, because, you know, everyone dies at the end. And I was sad, because it was like 10 minutes, and I was like a little kid, and I, uh, I just I got sad. Uh, but I, I think it's a pretty good movie. It's a war movie, uh, realistic. Um... She, I, I don't remember who made that, to be honest, but, uh, 
she made a good choice with whoever she chose, Christopher Nolan, because it was a good movie. She liked it. Um, uh, yeah, and I feel like most of the fandom liked it, especially that Vader scene, you know. She approved that, too, you gotta remember. Um, The Force Awakens, uh, I'm gonna go back to that for a second. I feel like if it was the best movie ever, I mean, I feel like it got a lot of hate. It was kind of like overheated a bit, but yeah, I'll keep moving. Right now, on to The Last Jedi. The least favorite Star Wars movie ever. Um, okay. So I'm going to do a brief explanation, I think, why she chose Ryan Johnson to do the movie. All right. It's Ryan Johnson. He's, he's a basic, basic understanding of Star Wars. That's what she thought, right? And he's known as a pretty good... Uh, director or whatever and like good at screenplay and stuff like that because like he like a lot of people were thinking before it, the trailer even came out it was going to be a really good movie because you know Ryan Johnson really creative uh so those are expectations I think the logic behind her wanting him is because think about like think about how many YouTubers are posting rumor leaks Last Jedi, blah, 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 Luke this, Snoke that, Ray this, whatever. Like, so many, like, leaks and rumors were happening. People, like, predicting the movie and stuff. I think what they really wanted to do was a guy, find a guy, girl, whatever, who could um, subvert everyone's expectations. Every, they didn't want everyone to, like, figure out what was going to happen in the movie. They wanted it to be, you know, kind of similar like the Empire Strikes Back, where everyone's, like, bad. It's, like, they lose. The, the good guys lose, kind of. But, I don't know, but, you know, they still hold together and stuff. And that's what I think she wanted. Her idea was that uh, he, you know, he understood Star Wars in a basic fashion, basic manner, and that he would um, do good. Uh, like, he do decent. Like, they didn't think he'd actually do what he did. And then by the time he did it, you know, there's not much they could do. They spent so much money on it, they couldn't remake the whole film. Which is what happened with uh, Solo. Now on to Solo. Um, but yeah, I don't blame her for that. Ryan, you know, that was just kind of dumb choices. Even, like, the actors warned him not to do those things. And I, I don't think I can blame her. He, they thought he was a good director. Like, he directed good things before and he had a basic knowledge of Star Wars. I don't see how you could, like, get more credited than that, but whatever. Um, alright. So now on to Solo. Uh... I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it, it was like the first ever Star Wars movie to actually lose money and lost like, I don't think it was more than $50 million. They spent like 200 something million, uh, like 200, like 75, I don't know. And then like they made like 230 million off of it. I don't know. They, they, they had a small, like a 50 million like loss of money from the movie, like, it, I mean, it still made a buttload of money, obviously, but for a uh, Star Wars movie to actually lose money is actually, like, pretty bad, because it usually doesn't happen, um, but, yeah, I think it was a solid movie, I think the reason most people didn't like it is because people were still pretty pissed off because of the last year, I wasn't that long after, people just weren't hyped on Star Wars, and even I wasn't, like, people weren't, like, no one wanted to watch it, like, I, I don't know, I, I, it wasn't, you know, no one was in the Star Wars mood for that. All right, now on to um, uh, eighteen. Okay, yeah, twenty nineteen. All right. Um, I think yeah, twenty nineteen. Okay, Mandalorian. Right. Uh, pretty solid show. Season one. I'm talking about. Good show. Dave Filoni, John Favreau. Um, good show, entertaining, a lot of fans liked it, let's, uh, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of fans liked it, because, you know, Grogu, um, uh, season, uh, I mean, okay, now, I know, Rise of Skywalker, <sighs> I thought it was okay, honestly, I feel like if it was the best movie ever, the story that millions of people hated it, people were hating it before the trailer even came out, um, I don't know, it just wasn't, like, no matter what they did, because of, like, Eight was so bad, and seven was so good, and like they had a good building block for eight, and then Ryan just ruined it, and then JJ had to like redo everything he did. Um, but I mean, you know, she fixed. She tried to get JJ to fix what he did, 
to fix what Ryan did because you know she recognized what he did was bad like she realized that too she didn't like what he did um but you know I might get another um trilogy apparently I really hope she doesn't do that like if she did that she'd be stupid um but yeah I saw the Colin Trevorrow or whatever script and people saying oh my god it's so much better I didn't really like it that much I don't think it was like I mean yeah I saw some things and I don't know I guess it was interesting it seems kind of boring and um it basically made Plagueis like uncannon because it made Popsina another Masters I don't know it just wasn't it wasn't it for me um uh now on the Clone Wars season 7 apparently she pushed a lot for it uh I thought it was really good you know except the Trey's and Rafa arc she did not write it once again, so, you know, I can't really blame her for that. She chose Dave again, obviously. Good choice, you know, good show. Um, had a filler, you know, kind of a trend um, with some things. And then, uh, what came next? Uh, oh, yeah, Mando Season 2 in the end of 2020. Uh, it's a pretty solid show. Really, everyone wrote the finale once again. I, I'm not sure if she, she obviously didn't, like, design the show or whatever, but, you know, she approved it, so, you know, I think, you know, she gives some credit, I don't know who came up with the idea, obviously, I guess it was Dave, but, you know, she had something to do with that, she approved it, she chose the people for it, you know, whatever, um, Bad Batch, now, okay, uh, Bad Batch, pretty, boring uh i didn't really like it that much dave filoni made it it's too much filler um i can't blame him for that you know dave once again were all reliable um i wasn't able to get it done so i don't really see how much it could have really done uh but yeah i didn't enjoy it that much and uh yeah so Overall, to wrap it up, I think she did some good things and she made some, like, she made some good choices and she made some good, uh, she made some big mistakes, but ultimately, I think she, she was trying to, like, please the fans. I think some people villainize her a bit too much, but she did make some pretty stupid choices, to be honest, but I think some people overreact over what she's done, but, you know, I don't know. I don't think, uh... She's all that bad, and, you know, I think she's redeeming herself. She, you know, she's been, like, hinting at the Kenobi thing for, like, years. And she was getting you on Gregor and Hayden back. Like, that was her work and stuff to do that. You know, um, so I think, I think she's redeemed herself, honestly. From the last Jedi, which I think was the biggest thing I was actually mad for. But, you know, it wasn't really her fault for that, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, bye. Uh, see you guys. Oh yeah, um, this is going to be an unedited video because I don't want to, like, edit. It takes too long. Too busy. Um, alright, so I tried to post a Mace Windu versus Thanos video. Super good, really good at editing and stuff, but, you know, Disney took it down ten times. Um, so I guess I won't be able to post it. Try literally every method won't be able to post. I'm going to make Anakin versus, I mean, what if Anakin, what if Qui-Gon trained Anakin? soon i started uh part one but i'm not finished i'm, I'm gonna work on it next week i'm gonna be on the ground working on it and then when i'm done i'll do part one i think i won't do part two until like a year or something you know just like i don't know i'll probably do other videos because i want to wait till i get better at editing and stuff to do part two just in case part two is the final part because i don't know and then it'll be fire you know what i'm saying but uh anyways see you guys bye